Hello and welcome to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Sometimes I make a great big stack of thank you cards for my lovely customers. Everybody who orders from me um, gets a little thank you card in their bag when they collect their goodies. Um, and I've been making some cards using the Sprinkles of Life stamp set. And it's really versatile. As you can see, you can get trees, um, you can get little baskets of flowers, you can get cupcakes, all sorts. So I've been having some fun making these. Um, and one of my customers said, how did you get such a good 3D look on that um, ice cream cone? So I thought I'd make this card today, show you the lovely sprinkles of life and show you how to get the 3D effect on that ice cream cone. So let's get started. Um, the base card stock I'm going to use today is our new lovely Thick Whisper White, yay! We've wanted this for so long. Um, and Stampin' Up! have granted our wishes and made them come true. It's a thicker version, so you can have a nice thick um, card base in white. Um, and I'm just going to stamp the greeting straight onto there, which says, hope your day stacks up to be one good thing after another. And then I'm going to make all the elements to make up the stacked ice cream cone. So we'll start off with, um, we've got some Delightful Dijon. And I'm going to stamp in Delightful Dijon and stamp out that cone. I have got some uh, So Saffron. So saffron and stamp out that ice cream layer and then when I did this uh, with the pink pirouette itself it was a little bit um, pale so I'm actually going to do that in tip top taupe so that it gives a little bit more definition to the shape on the um, on the ice cream. Now these are super simple because we have, with the Tree Builder Punch, that matches that stamp set, I'm going to be able to cut out two little ice cream pieces here. Now, this also cuts out all sorts of things, so what it's going to cut out is what can be an apple when it's a tree, or a cherry, to go on the top of your ice cream. So I've just cut that out in a little bit of real red. So those are those pieces all assembled. Now my um, ice cream cone, I'm going to hand cut this. It's uh, quite easy to do. They're fairly straight lines. So I'm just going to wiggle around that and just leave a little bit of extra on the top because that's going to be hidden anyway by the ice creams. Let's make sure there's no pieces coming out. And very simply I'm going to use my daubers and the matching colour of this one which is um, the So Saffron. I forgot that last time didn't I? And I'm just putting a little bit of shading at the bottom of each of them. So if the light's coming from um, above the lights coming from this direction I'm going to put my shading down at the bottom and I'm doing that in the colour of those two ice cream scoops but I'm going to use on this one I'm actually going to use the top and get some really quite dark um, shading and this is how you get that look of it being 3D can you see the difference there? Now that looks a little bit dark at the moment because the, the um, top ink definitely lightens a bit as it dries. Look, you can see there the finished, um, the finished look. But it just, it just does give it a little bit more shape. And then we're just going to glue these pieces together. And you can see this is quite a quick card. I made 50 of them yesterday, so I can tell you it was quite quick. And... Uh, It's fun to do and it's been very very hot in um, 
Southampton, England over the last couple of days. So it's been quite nice stamping ice creams. So a little dot there and our cherry on the top. There you go. So super quick, super cute. Um, Sprinkles of Life is our Ronald McDonald um, house charity stamp set. So you can actually contribute to a really, really good cause. If you happen to like this stamp set and want to buy it, you can go to Elizabeth's Craft Room. Just Google me and find me and go to my online store and you can get that right now. Thanks very much for visiting Elizabeth's Craft Room. We look forward to welcoming you back again soon.